in God's will. Oftentimes as believers, we don't quite understand the will of God for our lives. And today I want to share with you signs that tell you that you are functioning in the will of God for your life. Doing God's will will be in conflict with your will. What God wants you to do will be contrary to what you want to do. Number one, fatigue. Fatigue is defined as extreme tiredness resulting from mental or physical exertion or illness. You may be doing what God wants you to do and you are just feeling lethargic and tired or feeling ill. You can combat fatigue using the word of God. Galatians 6 verse 9 says, Do not be weary in well-doing, for we shall reap if we faint not. God wants us to rest in him when we are Feeling fatigue while doing his will, it is okay to rest as he was the perfect example for us when he rested on the seventh day after creation. Number two, frustration. Frustration is defined as the feeling of being upset or annoyed as a result of being unable to change or achieve something. This feeling of frustration is universal. Many a times we may feel frustrated while doing God's will. It may be because we are not getting the cooperation of others or our plans are falling through. But we can overcome frustration using the word of God. James 1 verse 20 says, For the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. When we become frustrated, it is important for us to be calm. It is important for us to go to God in prayer because he is a God who can fix things. Now, if we are angry and if we get upset and if we go to God being annoyed and anxious, it will not produce his righteousness. We are to go to him in prayer and sincerity of heart to ask him to help us to overcome frustration. Number three is fear. The definition of fear is an unpleasant emotion caused by the threat of danger, pain, or harm. And many a times we get fearful when doing God's will, but we should remember that God is with us and we can combat fear using the word of God. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 17 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Point number four that indicates that you are actually in God's will is you may experience failure. Failure by definition is a lack of success. We know that from time to time we may be doing what God has called us to do, but the situation may seem as though we are not gaining momentum. We may not be seeing the results that we have hoped for. And from time to time, if we are to be honest, we feel like giving up or quitting. We can use the word of God to combat failure. Proverbs chapter 24 verse 16 says, for a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. So as believers, we will not fall into mischief. If we fail, we will rise again and continue to do God's will. When faced with fatigue, frustration, fear and failure, they may be indicators that you are doing the will of God. You should not shy away from doing God's will because these, these attacks will come, but we know that we are in God's will and we want to stay in his will in order to live a fruitful life. If you liked this video, go ahead and click that like button. Feel free to join this family. 
share this video with someone. You may be a blessing by doing so.